Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I think we're gonna do more greed mode today. Um, you know what? If we're gonna do a lot of greed mode, why don't we mix it up by doing Eden starts? So that at least it's gonna be interesting and variable every time we do it. We're not gonna play exclusively greed mode, but we're gonna play greed mode for now. Uh, we start with four cents, and there's our seed. Sled! 3RG3. And Bum Friend. Uh, I'm not too stoked about having Bum Friend. Pretty happy to have Squeezy. Wouldn't dispute that. A tears upgrade is nice. Um, we also have the D8s. And this this troubles me. Because the D8s... By the way, thank you for two of diamonds, of course. But the D8 um, re-rolls our stats. I could just go look this up right now and see what it does in actuality. Like, what does re-roll stats actually mean? It doesn't matter, because we'll be getting the D100 here. Um, 100%. I mean that sincerely. Oh, we have the piggy bank. So... If we just keep walking, like, in and out of these rooms, we'll get a lot of money. Um, this is gonna seem like an incredibly stupid idea, but bear with me here. Now we have 10 cents. We use two of diamonds. Get the D100. Get a key. And then we come back here, because the D100 is such a good item for actually winning greed mode. As we've kind of shown time and time again. I don't like any of these items very much. So we'll reroll both of them and everything we have on our own run. Get mom's contact. Now we have some bombs. Take the bombs back here. Um, use the bomb to blow this thing up. Now we have butt bombs as well. Take the pill. Pill gave us a tears upgrade. Um, blow up these guys. Now I'm like, shit, we need money. <laughs> oh, okay, we can't do anything. What, do I, what if we reroll our stats now with the D8? I thought maybe that might give us HP. No, I've, I've created a monster here. Um, we need to not take damage until a red heart becomes accessible for ourselves. So, I may have royally fucked this run just by being a little bit too aggressive with, uh... Piggy Bank. Oh, no, you know, it wasn't Piggy Bank. It was Swallowed Penny, my bad. Um, but if we can just survive a few waves... We can't step on the button is kind of the principal problem here. If we can survive a few waves, we're gonna be fine. But if I could do this over again, and if I could recommend something for you playing the seed right now, it would probably be... You know, get to like 30 cents before popping the D100. Or, you know, 45, whatever you're into. But I really wanted, uh, sorry, before popping two of diamonds. I think I said before popping the D100. I was excited to have the D100 uh, on our run because it's such a an important item for actually like winning the game, oftentimes. Uh, that I maybe went a little overboard too early. I should try to open those chests, but man, it's tough to guarantee ourselves survival and get over there. More enemies coming soon. More sea anemones coming soon. Whoa! Too close for comfort, please. This is our last wave, though. We got 10 cents because I, I used D100 to reroll a bunch of coins. No! We were doing so well. Okay, restart. Portable slot is not what we want. And, uh, like, this weird item that makes a portal when we die or whatever it is. Or, like, if enemies walk into the circle, they get hurt. Here's our actual seed. GE6AX28L. I feel dumb because of my own idiocy. We- oh, come on. Tears up, tears down. Lockdown? How could you? Portable slot is a terrible item for greed mode, I feel. Unless we can find a secret room and really make it work for us. But our- oh, our base stats are great. I'm trying to see what else we got out of it. Just like really high base stats? Or does the uh, upside down due to the shadow, whatever it's called, actually give us like a stat bonus as well as the, the shadow underneath us? Maybe it does give us the shadow and some stats. Um, that should not have been a loss. I'm happy that we're in this infancy where, like, there's no streak to protect or anything like that. Because I've been hemorrhaging, like, a lot of runs for basically no reason. But, um, obviously I need to play more consistently as the game goes on. It's just, like, there's no excuse to be taking such dumb damage that you die consistently on the first or second floor. On greed mode or hard mode or any mode. So, uh, I'm also sad because we had a two of diamonds and the D100 and still managed to lose a, um... A, a greed mode run. Which, those are like the two things that should make a greed mode run extraordinarily winnable. Mind you, it was early, but still. Just want to kill the spawner as quickly as possible. And we've only taken one hit this time, which was enough to kill us last time. The, the real problem with this run right now is Eden, is that we have no spirit heart uh, generation, and we have no HP, so um, I'd really like to pick up some HP. This is bar none what we want here. Uh, normally I go straight for the key, and I will do that next, but, um... 
Synth Oil will be awesome for us, and we should get the money for it as well. But Curved Horn, five cents for this much damage is just colossal for where we're at in the game right now. Um, or any point in the game, for that matter. But uh, it's it's probably the best, like, per dollar damage upgrade we could possibly ask for. Five cents for that amount of damage is just disgustingly strong. And you know what? Attack Fly is proving why it's no slouch either, especially in the early game here. Against relatively stationary enemies, it's gonna be very simple. So we will pick up Synth Oil to go along with it. Um, we have a problem, and that problem is how the fuck are we gonna take a deal with the devil? And my solution is, we don't, unless it's an easy pickup, like, um, you know, ceremonial robes. Uh, and maybe we just try to pilot this one to a deal with the devil victory instead. I don't know if it's gonna be, um... You know, you never know what the items are gonna be like there, but they are at least free from an HP standpoint, so... Um... I don't know. I mean, desperate times call for desperate measures. It's not really too desperate. We've only been hit once, but we also don't have much HP to go on here. Um, great, great setup right now. Okay, our deal with the devil is Gimpy, which is worth taking if we can get some spirit hearts, which we can't, so we will say goodbye, Gimpy. I appreciate the uh, the chance that you gave me there, but we won't be able to do it, unfortunately. Take Synth Oil. Head down to the next floor. Um, little, I wouldn't say dangerous. The problem with the run right now is, is our HP. We need enough red hearts to actually be able to replenish them and use them for purposes like that. Hopefully our uh, silver rooms sort that out for us instead. A range upgrade, which, to be honest with you, I, I just didn't even pick up to start with here because I sort of don't see why it matters. We're fighting, like, almost exclusively on tiny rooms. The only situation I can see in which it matters is if we, like, pick it up and then re-roll the entire run with the D100. Which I would love to, by the way, if they give us the opportunity to get the D100. But, uh, in that case, why not just re-roll the item before picking it up to see if we actually would prefer it. Like, prefer the item that drops instead of just the random item we get from... Or we, we get and we're forced into via the D100. But, for now, this is all uh, conjecture and, you know, we're, we're living in a hypothetical world here. What we need to do first is uh, see what's going on in our shop, buy a key, get into our item room. This is where we would expect to get uh, to get HP upgrades. I don't think the 1-up is worth it, to be honest with you. Uh, if we can get a bomb, I would really like to. Another Spirit Heart, very nice as well. Uh, really? Mega Beam, which we can use once every three waves? It's better than Portable Slot, I think, but not particularly good. Uh, I think Champion Belt is probably worth it. Nun's Habit? I don't know. We don't have any means with which to reroll here, so... Uh, okay. I mean, Giga Fart actually worked out very nicely. We got more pin fights, but, uh... Oh, we, I was strong enough to really not have that happen. So I'm very disappointed in myself. And our deal with the Devil Wave is gonna be... Double Gertie Jr. And if we play our cards right, we should be able to keep ourselves relatively safe because it looks like this area down here is basically just inaccessible. They'll still be able to shoot us. But uh, they won't be able to get in here and hit us, I think, which is by far the, the most way that we take damage, or the most common way of taking damage against Gertie Jr. So this is pretty exciting that we just got a nice little divot here that we can hole up in. Good. He killed his own minion. And he's basically dead. Why did I come out? Why did I risk it? We haven't eaten shit yet. We didn't eat shit, but we should have eaten shit. Another deal with the devil. Of course, the standard, uh, you know, Binding of Isaac logic applies. If you want deals with the angel, you're not going to get him. If you want deals with the devil, hope you enjoy your deals with the angel. No bombs for sale. So I, I really don't think the one-up is what we need here. So instead, we'll move onwards. I really don't want Giga Fart either, and I didn't pick up the range upgrade, which now, in hindsight, definitely should have, but it's a relatively minor mistake for our chances. Little Haunt is okay, and an actual HP upgrade is good. BFF, I think, is acceptable here, um, and a Key Beggar is just funny. So I, I really don't... <laughs> I don't love the item! But it's doing something for us, so I guess I'm happy it exists. Ignore the bloops, as always. My friends only want to talk to me when I'm working. You know, it's like your boss or something. Um, Giga fart again. I mean, I like that there's an item that gives you that bullshit effect that um, those new wall masters have, and that the gate, the not the gate, the cage has always had. 
where he, uh, you know, you, you put down, like, that fissure in the earth that just tracks into an enemy and destroys them without them having, like, basically any ability to dodge. That was poor damage on my part, for sure. But, um, it still doesn't seem that good being able to use it once every couple of waves, once every few waves here. Good amount of money. Um, you know, I maybe BFF, sure. And I think after BFF, we're probably looking at um, just the HP upgrade. Start stacking up some HP, and then if we get one more deal with the devil that's actually good, we can justify it. But my thinking was, BFF, we don't have anything amazing for BFF right now, but it's possible that we will. Oh man, because of the poison status effect, we actually weren't able to uh, freeze the angel, which is substantially better than poison. But BFF Little Haunt, BFF, um, you know, those those silkworms that come out from KMB and Conception or whatever this item is called. I know it's not KMB and Conception. Oh man. We're not going to be able to get the Halo probably unless something completely unforeseen happens. But um, BFF, you know, this attack fly. I think these are all positive enough to warrant the BFF pickup. And they're really helping out my damage right now. I'm stoked that they've. Uh, they're going to be able to do some extra good stuff for us, but. Mostly it's a it's a play for the future in case we get like an incubus or something like that. But first, we've got a deal with the devil we can actually get, which means we'll get a deal with the angel that actually sucks. Guaranteed. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not that good, but it's not that bad. Uh, I think we hurt ourselves just on the, if we can, which we can to go into the curse room, just on the off chance we somehow get enough money to buy we got to get this to buy the halo which we won't obviously but it was it was kind of close let's buy our key sorry halo i would love to i would love to but unless we get like a two of diamonds out of one of those it's not going to happen or possibly oh man if we get like a nickel out of one of these i'm going to be real mad at myself no nope. life goes on how do i feel about this run i'm 50-50 right now there's there's some positive stuff there's some negative stuff I'm feeling a little bit outclassed so far. Obviously, Mom's Eye is not good enough. More HP probably is. We've proven you don't need to be super strong. Oh, definitely, we'll be taking a look at um, the blue mushroom here, blue cap. Spawning as many of these friendly, friendly individuals as we can. Great, that's a good item. Let's take our pill. Speed up, also good. Uh, buy a bomb? No bombs for sale. Okay, this is this is still fine. Yeah, I would love to. I would love to take blue cap. The shot speed downgrade is basically completely meaningless. So I'm thinking I do like a panic fart here. Oh my god, my lights keep dipping, scaring the Christ out of me. It's like our power keeps going out in the building or something. Um. There we go, just fart there. Umbilical cord is obviously not worth it. This is the worst damage. <laughs> I don't feel particularly proud of the damage that I've taken there. I'm distracted by the possibility of the power in the building going out right now. Okay, so focus, you don't get to control the power right now. What you, what you have the power to do is control how much damage you take, to a certain extent at least. Uh, blue cap, HP, and a tears upgrade. Skinny on mushroom will be our second pickup here. Maybe, you know, maybe it's not the power going out. Maybe it's actually just this light bulb dying. That seems way more likely. Considering I've never changed the light bulb in this room. Oh, that's so lazy, NL. What, you change your light bulbs before they go out? I didn't realize, uh, Mr. Straw Man. I didn't realize that's the way we handle light bulbs now. Is all oh, be proactive, change your light bulbs before they go out, fuck the planet. Yo, creep. Dissipate. That's ridiculous. Can't hit you. That's alright. Our attack fly will handle it. I took some seriously terrible damage in there as well. But, skinny on mushroom. Well worth it. Really nice rate of fire now. And again, now that we... Wow, that was just awful. But now that we can guarantee ourselves um, the ability to take a deal with the devil, prepare for your second shitty angel room in a row. I would, I would pretty much guarantee it. Maybe I'm being a little needlessly cynical, but has my cynicism not worked out so far? 
I mean, it hasn't worked out in the way that it's been positive for us, but it's worked out in the sense that our predictions have come true. That's all right. Shitty deals with the angel can be better than deals with the devil. If those deals with the devil are also even shittier. Deal with the angel? Rosary. An acceptable pickup. No reason to get a key statue. Or a key piece, I should say. Let's try. Yeah, it was like super not worth it, but that's okay. Down to the next floor. How am I feeling about this? I guess slightly more positive than I was before, but still not very positive. This could be good. We already have a great trinket, but a card like Judgment is not really what I want, but that's okay. Tears up, that's good. We got a key as well, which means we don't have to buy one, so we come in here instead. Get Stompy, this is like super not worth it, man. Like it's maybe a slight chance to get something out of these. That one was the Lovers. It's not bad. Judgment, I kind of just want to blow up, maybe get a spirit heart out of it as well. Okay, we got a pill. The pill was addicted. Oh, right. Free consumables. Um, this one's weird. Because I don't... I mean, I want latchkey, but I don't really want latchkey. I kind of want that blue... Uh, blue tear effect, even though I don't actually know offhand which one it is. But if it's like uh, the holy shots, I would the holy shot, I would love that item. That was just uh, awful dodging on my part. Pretty nice giga fart there. Man, how I would welcome not this as a space bar item, though. Gotta admit, though. I think we got a chance. As long as we fight relatively well against Ultra Greed, I think we've set ourselves up okay. The big hurdle with Ultra Greed was just learning all the patterns, so I actually knew, you know, how to how to dodge them, when to dodge, when to when to be aggressive, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I think we've managed to make that happen. So our lives should be easier. Evil eye, eye shot. Okay. Okay. Money. Yeah, money. I don't really want latch key this late. Man. Six cents to reroll these and then you give me like an HP upgrade. Um, I think if we're being realistic, this run is more about putting anything in our donation machine than it is about putting everything in our donation machine. So I would probably pay the whatever it is, 15 cents for Cracker Jack. Man, I should not have eaten so much dumb damage there. Um, yeah, I would I would probably pay for more HP just to guarantee us a better chance of the boss fight. Or at, at actually living long enough to make this work. Probably, oh, I thought there were like triple frail here. Um, we'll see what it looks like after our next deal, which will probably be yet another deal with the angel if I had to guess. I've kind of been just hemorrhaging damage lately and it's, it's disappointing because that stuff is well within my control. Um, you know what, I think I'm just going to take it. I'll take it right now. I don't really want the trinket, but I'll take the HP. And I think every little bit of HP is gonna really matter for us here. Ah, uh, poor. However, there is a, a heart for us to take after we finish this. We've already killed one of the enemies. We're gonna get out of this without getting hit again, I think. Easy enough. It's a deal with the devil. It's a deal with the devil for the Bible. It's a teleportation of the deal with the devil that has the Bible. We don't we do not want the Bible as our item. This is probably clear. Alright, down to the next floor. Um, if there's any emergency items we need, we'll try to take them. Apart from that, I'd like to save some money to donate, but we'll see. Uh, is there anything truly spectacular in here? Not that I can see right now. Jesus juice is okay. Oh, we can stomp, so we should stomp, baby. Got a key. What do we use this key for? That's a great question. Well come in here for free pick up the red heart probably save the spirit heart until we leave seems sensible that one greed has almost got to be dead already that was not a correct assessment of how that was working out <laughs> um, one greed still alive get all the enemies stacked up and then we just giga fart all over them that sort of worked I have no idea how to aim the fissure from the Giga Fart. I also have no idea what Eyeshot has done for us, but I hope that it was worth picking up and not a complete waste. 
If we need to, we don't need to buy items. Instead, we'll just buy, like, uh, we'll buy hearts. Hearts are cheap. And also extremely useful and probably the single biggest predictor of our chances of success right now. That worked, sort of. At least slow down the assaults of these enemies. What in the world was that? I've never seen that Ragman attack before. What is this? Oh, I like our eye shots that shoot more shots. So I know what you're thinking. You're looking at this right now, you're saying NL's fucked. He's, he's completely fucking screwed right now. Uh, I would, I could see how you would look at this right now, and that would be the opinion you would draw from it. Uh, but I'm gonna try to buck that trend, baby. MacBook Pro, baby. We're gonna be, uh, doing our damnedest to come out of this. We need to buy some hearts, we buy some hearts. Most important thing, we kill Ultra Greed. Is this like Alpha Ragman or something? Like... This is absurd with these attacks I've never seen before. Maybe if you get multiple Ragman on a room, they have like, uh... They got more stuff going for them or something. I don't really want to buy more, unless we have to. And right now, we don't have to. Maybe the fissure just moves in whatever direction we're moving. Oh, this is pretty much ideal. Now we have some bombs, we could use that to generate some extra coins as well. I would, bare minimum I'd be excited to donate is like 10 cents, because you're still like way below the curve for being likely to, um, uh, for being likely to tap out the machine at that point. I think it's in our best interest to, to take these dudes out. Makes our life much easier having just this little extra space at the bottom to dodge. Okay, that's fine. We should try to get out of here. It's harder than you'd think. With these shots and this bullet hell and the everything, we killed one. We killed both. That's incredible. No Krampus. No Krampus. Two runes. Hagalaz. Per throw. Um, well, per throw doesn't do much for us, unfortunately. Use our bomb. One spirit heart. Uh, maybe, maybe it can. Probably not, though. I think it's just too little, too late for per throw. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy this place out for red hearts, and we're just gonna carry per throw with us. I feel okay about bringing twelve cents down to the next floor. Could have been 15 if we had shot these first, but I feel okay about this. This is a run that I, I kind of feel like I botched at multiple opportunities, so... Um, I, I feel like we got a chance, and maybe for once, I'll be stoked that Greed has scaling HP, because it might be benefiting us more than hurting us. Now, hopefully that dude follows us. Uh, hopefully these dudes follow us into the next room. Steam sale can be per throat into toothpicks. That was really good. All right, we do have these two guys who have followed us. We know how to handle this fight. Coins, just giga fart all over. I don't expect this to be an easy fight, and I think so far this is proving it. I think we probably got an above 50% chance to die. However, we have a chance. Hearts, hearts you hit, hearts you hit. Without a cube of meat, a little trickier to make sure he doesn't get anything at all. But uh, still, this is something. I'm trying to get in there with the attack fly as much as we conceivably can without putting ourselves too much at harm's way. Bombs build space. We just, it was better to hide there. Oh, pick up the nickel, bud. Look at this nickel, bud. You could use it to buy a piece of... Double bubble chewing gum. Does double bubble chewing gum still cost five cents? I remember when it cost uh, two cents and they raised the price. School children everywhere going, what? Bombs build space. We have built space and created some spiders, unfortunately. Keys, keys gotta get killed. Keys gotta get killed. Oh man, I shot saved our ass there. Without eye shot, we would not have been able to get through that without uh, without uh, only spawning one. So very piss poor damage for me there. But we're like halfway through the fight. We're a little bit more than halfway through our HP. 
I think we can do this if we stop. Slow down a little bit. What's that sound? Everybody knows what's going down. Keys get killed. Oh, we didn't kill them. Oh, we're shooting like half of them, but not actually stopping them. At least we're one-shotting these guys, which means that our BFF attack flash should definitely be one-shotting these guys. We're getting some damage now and then from our eye shot as well, even with us not knowing that it's happening. Little Haunt, of course, doing his own thing. And by his own thing, I mean literally a singular purpose for which he was designed. Stay far away. It's much more important that you don't take damage than, than you do damage. This is a dangerous one. No, we're fine. This is going okay. We're going to get to donate, you know, we might get hit a couple more times. We get to donate like three cents, but at least it's going to be a three cent win in all likelihood. Then, you know, if our, if our two options are donate three cents or donate nothing, and we can't go back in time to do to save more money on this run, then I'm happy to have the three cents, man. I'm happy. That, that maybe saves us one greed mode run later. We didn't quite uh, handle that as well as I would have liked. Get the coins before he gets the coins. They are still important. Man, thank God each one of these guys is not at the same HP as one of those greed heads, huh? Bombs. Build space. Oh, I didn't build space. Okay, now we've really got to watch out because the greed hits. Fuck. Now we've really got to watch out because anything we get hit with will kill us. Oh, no! He dropped it right on top of us, but what a beautiful render. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I really thought we had a chance there. We'll do better next time. Hopefully another Eden Green Mode run. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.